What's up guys and welcome back to my channel Due to popular demand guys Due to popular extreme popular demand guys I'm in Obama Yes Obama This is a residential area which was named after US president former US president Barack Obama so guys this is the property review for today I want you to be the judge again open up your mind and you be you are going to be the judge today to tell me your opinion I want to hear your opinion guys after this proper review of this place I'll tell you a lot of stuff a lot of, about rentals I'll tell you about purchasing property here I'm also going to tell you about yeah so I'll talk about rentals we'll talk about purchasing property and possibly talk about plot of land can you get a plot of land so guys let me take you through i'm sure you can see we have started already guys as you can see this is obama actually this is the far end where this place ends so this is where it ends from yeah i'm going to show you all that guys so once again if you are new on my channel subscribe turn on bell notification give this video a thumbs up guys so let's see what is in obama let's go i've struggled by the way guys i have really struggled to make this video i came the first time I couldn't figure out the storyline, how to start, how to process everything. But today I gained courage. So let's see what is here, guys. I was supposed to do this video with Copper Belt YouTuber Empress Tay, but she could not make it in good time. So I had to go ahead without her. Please. Check out her channel and also watch this same video. You also hear her own version. I compared other properties. You know, I have been producing these videos mainly on the bright side. Just to talk about the positive side. So that is one of the reasons why I struggled. Nevertheless, let me start this video by saying Kabongo Franklin NGO this is nice I'm interested in, your, in in this can I have more information can you show us Obama which is in Cheston again Kabongo Franklin NGO again says where is Obama compound Two messages, guys. Here the third one again. Kabongo Franklin NGO. Please, can you show us Obama compound in Cheston? Guys, I overheard this one over and over and over. Some of the Obama, I could not even talk about it. So you can see three times. Who am I, guys? That's why I'm here to give you what you request for in spite of me failing i'm back with this video guys i'm back i'm back to do obama so let me start why who which is what is obama compound where is obama compound how did the obama compound come about obama compound or obama a housing residential area was named after U.S. President Barack Obama. I'm sure you now understand. So this is a residential area which was named after U.S. President Barack Obama. 
Now, this is the most beautiful part of Obama residential area. Look at the tarmac. Now, don't get me twisted. Don't get mistaken. Guys, there is only one main road that comes from the CBD, from the station. It turns this is the road. What you are seeing here, check out the beautiful houses. You may not compare it with other places where you have lawns, you have green, you have got a lot of trees which even make canopy. But take a look at this area. What you are seeing, guys, is the best area of Obama. So I'm sure my request is now, you requested me to do it. You asked me to do it. I didn't want to do it, but for your sake, I'm doing it. Take a look. Good houses, isn't it? Take a look on the right. On the left, take a look. Good houses. I'm still coming back, guys. I'm not um I'm not done. Look at some palm trees. Take a look at the wall fence. Well decorated. Some palms, some some are still small. What you have seen is the most beautiful area of obama residential area look at even the drainage beautiful this is the far end of obama residential area i want you to take continue taking a look at this house by the roadside i'm still coming i'm still coming watch this video to the end Guys, if you are new on my channel, don't forget subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Guys, we passed 5,000. We are on a journey to 10,000 subscribers. We are on a journey to 10,000. Now, take a look at what you were asking me, why I found it difficult. Look at the complaint, the main roads. Take a look. The roads, guys, are bad i'll use the word bad most of them may be in war fence but the roads are bad most of the houses inside guys they are not so good that's how i, I rate them most of them they are incomplete one of the reason i'm going to explain just now so, Obama residential area, remember, it is situated off Greatest Road. Uh, from, from Greatest Road, you turn north at NRDC going northwards. As you are going north, that is NRDC. It is approximately 14 kilometers from the Lusaka CBD. Yes, 14 kilometers from the Lusaka CBD. I may not have a lot of time, but I will be very quick. It also costs, if you are using public transport, like the people who live here, it's about 10, 12 kwacha. So, which is about half a dollar, 50 cents, guys. Yes. So, you, you, you saw the good part. Here, they are also good. They may be fairly good houses, but look at the roads. The roads are not so good. The latter part is the one which is really bad let's talk about rentals in this area guys then we talk about the purchasing possibility and so forth so let's dive into it rentals the first thing i did yesterday i started by asking i found a four bedroom house so i called this number and i spoke to the landlord he was asking for 5,000 kwacha for this house. 5,000 kwacha. Oh my God. But he said it's negotiable anyway. Okay, an ordinary three-bedroomed house, they go between 3,000 and 3,500 kwacha. A two-bedroomed house goes for 2,500 kwacha. Okay, 2,000 if you look hard enough to... 2,500 kwacha. So the prices here, what would shock you, this place still 
is not really very cheap compared to even other places like Silverest and other areas. Take a look how the place looks like. This is a like a minimal or a shopping complex which is in the area. But if you need the mall, these people they have got other malls which are just near this place. Uh huh. Another other smaller shops. They are available in the area, guys. So, let's talk about the plots, guys. Okay, buying a house. I found a house for 70,000 kwacha, which is incomplete. Which was like at slab level or at foundation level. I also found another one incomplete. Going like this one, maybe. Uh, going for about 100,000 kwacha. Plots of land. Let's talk about plots. Guys, when this residential area... Okay, first, guys, let's look at this. Obama shop. Obama shop. Barack Obama, where you come and see the shop they named after you. <laughs> that is Obama shop. You can get a plot of land, guys, here. You cannot get them anymore because the plots are gone. When these plots were advertised at first... Guys, these plots were going for 7,000 kwacha. They were going for 10,000 kwacha. They were going for 15,000 kwacha. Later on, 20,000 kwacha plots. No wonder everyone came here. That's why some people just built at roof level. They finished it. Some, they built the house, never plastered it, and they moved in. Others, like this one on the right, you see no roof. Take a look. These are some of them which I found. They are being sold for a hundred thousand kwacha. Some 150. I saw all that when I was filming this video for you. So, look, take a look at the left. See how some standards, some standards are so good about this area. So, guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've gotten the information. I didn't want to make it too long. There is no pipe water again, guys, but there are a lot of tanks. It's only boho water available in this place. Apart from the pathetic roads, guys, there are only bohos. No running water in this place. Yes, there's electricity. That's all, guys. You can see there are a lot of cars in the area. Good cars. Look, even BMWs, they are there in this area. Otherwise, see you in my next video, guys. Peace.